Now, China's Communist Party Congress wrapped up on the weekend, but questions are still swirling about an incident involving former President Hu Jintao. Oh, he was escorted out of the main auditorium in the Great Hall of the People on Saturday, just as the Congress was officially closing. It's unclear what really happened. But some exclusive video by CNA gives some clues. Jill Newbronner walks us through it. The video of Hu Jintao has been seen by millions of people around the world. But China's censors have scrubbed the images from the country's internet. On Saturday, CNA's team in Beijing had just been released from a media holding area. Then, our cameraman captured these images. And you can see Li Changshu, the head of China's legislature, the National People's Congress, sitting to the left of Hu Jintao. Now, both men have their hands on a red folder. And Mr. Lee is talking to Mr. Hu. Then, watch this. Mr. Lee slides the folder away from the 79-year-old Mr. Hu and continues to speak to him. Seconds later, Mr. Hu places his hand on the folder again, prompting a gesture from Wang Hu Ning, the Communist Party's chief ideologue, seated to Mr. Lee's left. Now, our camera pans to show President Xi Jinping and outgoing Premier Li Keqiang with only Mr. Xi watching what he's transpiring. And that's when President Xi gets involved. The next images show him calling over someone, either an aide, an official or perhaps a security staffer. The Chinese leader is pointing and the man he's speaking to is nodding. He's touching the papers in front of him. All the while, Hu Jintao appears to be listening. Mr. Xi also gestures over and over again. When he's finished, he adjusts himself and stares forward. Then, seconds later, nods as discussion continues around Mr. Hu. After this, the infamous exit by the now frail senior citizen who once held ultimate power in China. The man President Xi was speaking to helps Mr. Hu to his feet. At this point, the head of the Communist Party Secretariat, Kong Xiaoxun, arrives to help out. Now, they start to walk away, but Mr. Hu seems to make an attempt to sit down again. All the while, President Xi is half watching what's going on. Premier Li is staring off. And to Mr. Li's right is Wang Yang, both men are Hu Jintao loyalists and both, it would soon be revealed, were set to leave the powerful Politburo Standing Committee. By this time, Mr. Hu seems like he's been convinced to leave the auditorium. On his way out, the former leader says something to Xi Jinping, who nods. Then Hu Jintao pats Li Keqiang on the shoulder as he walks by. Mr. Li nods his head and turns slightly to watch Mr. Hu leave. Some of the people at the table taking in what's going on, while others just staring ahead. Tellingly, Hu Jintao's protégé, Hu Chunhua, has his arms crossed. He was seen as someone who could possibly be part of the new Politburo Standing Committee. But when the lineup was unveiled on Sunday, he wasn't there. All of the members are fiercely loyal to Xi Jinping and none has close ties to any former Chinese leaders. The very fact that the Hu Jintao incident was caught on camera is historic for Chinese politics, which is always tightly choreographed. Chinese media say Mr. Hu left because he was not feeling well, but then felt better a short time later. So many questions remain, though. What was Li Changshu saying to Hu Jintao? What did Xi Jinping say once he got involved? What did the officials say to Hu Jintao to convince him to leave? And what exactly was inside that red folder in the paperwork that was taken away from Mr. Hu? Given the opaque nature of the inner workings of the Chinese Communist Party, we may never know. Dr. Lim Tawei, an adjunct senior research fellow at the National University of Singapore, joins us live from Tokyo. Dr. Lim, uh, we just heard that uh, we don't know so much. And what we do eventually know, we're likely to know years from now and only in retrospect. But for now, what do we know and what is it useful for us to know? I think uh, what we do know uh, is that uh, there are three uh, sort of interpretation. Uh, of what's going on. And the first interpretation is very much uh, centered around 
uh, Xinhua News Agency's uh, official explanation, uh, which was uh, that Mr. Hu was uh, not feeling well, was taken to another room where he got some rest and thereafter uh, did uh, well. And the second uh, sort of uh, uh, explanation is uh, centered mainly around speculation about the intentionality uh, of the departure uh, from the hall. And certainly uh, these are uh, true uh, speculation because there are no hard evidence uh, with regards to intentionality of uh, departure from the hall. And the third uh, explanation is centered around what has been released on 25th of October uh, 2022 as recorded by one uh, uh, telecaster. And uh, the uh, uh, speculation is on uh, textual documents uh, that were shown uh, in uh, the uh, new footage. Again, uh, intentionality is unknown, uh, but a lot of uh, debates uh, appears uh, to centre around, uh, uh, around the uh, textual document, the physically seen uh, in the footage. So very quickly, Dr Lim, uh, and keep this brief, what are those documents? Uh, are, is that the stuff in the red folder and how are they relevant at all? Well, uh, the general consensus is, is that uh, it contains the name list uh, of uh, the uh, uh, candidates uh, to be announced. Uh, and it is in the red folder uh, placed in front uh, of, uh, of the uh, attendees, uh, not just Mr. Hu, but all the attendees. And in that case, there's hardly anything so uh, significant about that. Everyone was going to be knowing at that point who was going to be on the Central Committee, who would be on the Politburo, and who would be on the Standing Committee. So even if it is this textual document, how is this relevant? How is it interesting at all? We'll move on very, very quickly after this. Well, well, that's the assumption by most uh, observers and experts uh, that uh, those are standard documents. Uh, therefore, uh, it comes back to uh, 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 square one, uh, in which uh, we really do not know uh, what happened, uh, and the speculation uh, is likely to carry on amongst the observers and experts unless a new uh, sort of developments take place where evidence can be seen. All right, uh, Dr Lim, I guess the huge attention and the gossip, the speculation is because of the outsized role that Chinese senior leaders have in party and in government, even after they have apparently retired, whether they hold on to p p positions in the Central Military Commission or they hold on just behind the scenes with networks of patronage and protégés. Uh, we've seen this happen under Deng Xiaoping, uh, staying on in Central Military Commission, even as Hu Yafang and Zhao Ziyang were general secretaries of the party. We saw that with Jiang Zemin holding on when Hu Jintao was leader. And Jiang, uh, Hu Jintao was the only one who very obediently gave up his position as he should have done. Now, uh, in this context, are we reading too much into it because of the roles that senior leaders play in China's Communist Party? Uh, in past regimes, uh, in, indeed, uh, party elders uh, do have a certain uh, influence uh, that could be felt uh, in the corridors of power. It could be overt or it could be subtle. Uh, however, uh, in the uh, President Xi's uh, re regime, which is uh, typically uh, you know, characterized by observers and analysts uh, as somewhat of a strongman regime with a highly centralized power, uh, it appears uh, that the uh, influence of uh, party elders uh, have uh, somewhat uh, diminished. Uh, there were some speculations uh, in the Western media about some of the veteran uh, party members, including the 105-year-old uh, Song Ping, uh, but uh, these are merely speculations found within uh, the global media outside uh, China. It appears uh, that uh, from uh, President Xi's uh, regime uh, henceforth, that uh, party elders would perhaps uh, would not uh, sort of uh, have a disproportionate uh, amount of uh, influence uh, on current policy, given the highly centralised uh, nature of his, uh, of his uh, administration. Oh, thanks so much for that. Dr Lim Taiwei, adjunct senior research fellow at the National University of Singapore, speaking to us there from Tokyo.